Satan understands that for you to live a lesser life, he has to steal the word beloved out of your life. Because the Bible says, Jesus said, this is my beloved son. The father said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Then the devil rocks onto the scene and the very thing he says, he says, if you are the son, he throws out that word beloved because he wants Jesus to start to do his ministry or to do his life void of the identity of love. May I say to you, Satan is very successful in sending people and circumstances and scenarios across our paths that wants to drop that word beloved so that you and I start to prove that we are worthy to be loved. Come on, are you there? There's no significance out of the word that Jesus is the one that's in love. Come on, and if Jesus is the one that's in love, the Bible says in Romans chapter number 8, verse number 37 to 39, there's no height, no depth, no angel, no demon, no principality, and I would like to add, no circumstance in this life that can separate me from a God that is absolutely, ravishly, crazy, scandalously in love of me.